What's happening, guys? Rise up 44 here on Nelio Gaming. Checking out Chaos on Deponia here on the PlayStation 4. Let's jump right in. All right, we have continue new game, load save, settings, bonus, and credits. Let's jump into a new game. Huh? What's this all about? Isn't that Ms. Hinkle's junk press? No, that's the junk press from my trawler. You need to help me fix it. Yeah, but it looks exactly like Ms. Hinkle's junk press from the tutorial in part one. <laughs> so what? Who's going to notice? Those who played part one don't even need a tutorial. Yeah, but I bet they're going to play it through anyway, because they just can't get enough of me. Count me out. I'm definitely not going to suffer through this whole tutorial thing again. I mean, it was stupid enough the first time around. Ah, come on. Little repetition can't hurt. Then how do you explain this blister? That is where I burned myself when I repeatedly put my hand on a hot stove. You never learn, do you? <laughs> Au contraire, I have a, a nearly photographic memory. Do you now? So, do you remember how to use the interface in order to talk to someone? Move a roof is with the left thumbstick. The nearest character or object is selected automatically. You can use R1 and L1 to switch through all accessible objects or select them directly with the right thumbstick. Shows all interactive objects with R3 the icons of a selected object in their position indicate possible interactions and how to execute them a door icon means you can switch rooms by pressing X it works the same way with a speech balloon icon you can use the circle to skip the tutorial all right that's bozo the old pirate? Uh, I am not a pirate. Just a simple junk dealer. Really? That's the first time I heard that. That's because you never listen to me. <laughs> I also told you to talk to me, not to take a closer look at me. So what? Why would I take orders from a filthy pirate? <laughs> oh, man. You've forgotten everything, right? No, I haven't. Then why don't you start talking to me? <laughs> and? Are you paying close attention? I sure am. I should hope so. Otherwise, you'll never understand how it, um... <laughs> how to look at an object, how to talk to someone. How to talk to somebody. But you just did that. <laughs> well, that was easy. But the thing that you don't know yet is... How to look at an object, how to talk to someone. How to look at an object. But I already know that. I see. And how? <laughs> I thought you were going to look at that thing on the floor. I can see it. It's lying there. I meant look at it more closely. <laughs> Even the tutorial is great. I thought you were going to look at that thing on the floor. I can see it. It's lying there. I meant look at it more closely. What's that? It's the reactor lead head. But it was a cathode plunger in the last game. It's the lead head. Believe me. You need it to repair the press. And how exactly am I going to do that if I can't even pick the thing up? <laughs> oh, man, the tutorial is great. Huh? Where'd it go? <laughs> you put it in your inventory. You know, where all your items go. <laughs> hey! There it is. Exactly. Now, this is your inventory. I knew that. Here you can view all the stuff you're lugging around. You remember how to do that, don't you? Use a triangle to combine it with another object. Circle. Closes the inventory. Look here, Bozo. I fixed the part. I won't believe that until I see it in operation. I know. My handyman skills are really incredible. <laughs> Chunk press. Look. <laughs> so this is the thing I'm supposed to fix. Right. But you need to be careful. 
Hey, being careful is for people who can't handle surprises. But in this case, the surprise would be the piston of the press, which, with all the force of an approaching steamroller, would crush your... Don't say it. You're spoiling my surprise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it fits. Next, you need oh to... Oh, my God. Hey, you don't have to spoon-feed me. I'll manage the rest. Whatever. <laughs> You don't need to spoon feed me. Okay, there we go. When you're ready, you need to. Hold your horses, will ya? It's just a button. I think I can manage without your help. Rufus, don't. You're standing right under the... Don't panic. You don't think I'd fall for the same feeble gag twice. So, uh, what was that again? I pushed <laughs> this button here, and then... Didn't look all that feeble to me. <laughs> they came out of nowhere. With their cruisers, plasma weapons, and mechanical beards. Organized. They took our village by force. They left nothing behind but tears and devastation. They were looking for gold and Elysia, the girl that fell from the sky. And only one person was prepared to save her. He woke her up, contacted her fiance, and took her to the lower ascension station, only to learn the shocking truth once he got there. Cleaver. Gold's fiance wasn't acting out of love. He had an agreement with Ulysses, the mysterious leader of the Organon, and Argus, his right hand. They needed the Ascension codes hidden away in Gold's brain implant, and they wanted to erase her memory. They wanted to make sure no Elysian would ever know that our world is inhabited. For their goal was terrible beyond imagination. They wanted to blow up our world. But they had failed to reckon with the one. He swapped the cartridges. Back up. And he restored Gold's memory so that she could bear the truth to Elysium. The name of this one man, this selfless hero, was Rufus. <laughs> this is great. He's telling his own story. Um, that wasn't the whole story, was it? <laughs> that was the first part. I think it's going to be a trilogy. Sounds a bit unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievably cool. But if it really all happened like that, shouldn't I be on my way to Elysium with Cletus? So what are you doing here? Where is Cletus? Why am I unable to remember any of this and... Forgive me for asking, but why is there a burning saw blade stuck in the side of the ship? <laughs> oh, uh, that. Oh, well, da 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 ba ba ba. I was about to get to that part. Ba, so ba, listen ba. up. Da 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 What a great start. Excellent Building tutorial. Paddock began about accurate bacteria <laughs> in the fridge. It's getting boring, but packing bags due to the tea socks, I threw to clamshade rim order, some anodons gone. Didn't I explicate it? Are you still not persuaded? The stress growing on your time, panic membrane. Remember to pull yourself, sacrifices and oh gosh, not to start all over again. Huzzah, all over again. Huzzah. 
Chaos and the Pony. The first game was so good. This is awesome. Trash, trash, trash. And more trash. Isn't it adorable? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Hard to imagine I ever wanted to leave here. Ah, Rufus. This is the lad I was telling you about. What? Him? From what you told me, I had imagined a smart young man, not a filthy bum. <laughs> There's more to him than meets the eye. When I first met him, Rufus was still a... How shall I put this? Just say it. I was a self-indulgent slob, but I'm steadily improving. That's right. Right now, for example, he is helping Bozo to get the trawler shipshape. So I am. I was going to ask you whether I can borrow your hammer. No problem. You can take it from my toolbox over there. Thanks, Doc. You're the best. Trash. I still don't know, really. Something just doesn't seem right about that boy. But, Grandma Utz, whatever are you talking about? Utz. Hmm. Trash. 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 Huzzah, once more. Bronze PlayStation trophy. Bathroom door. Button, button, button. More buttons. I just love these point and click adventure games. And give me a good story along with it. And it's like one of my favorite types of games to play. Power inverter. Hammer. Didn't you tell me that he suffers from an exaggerated opinion of himself? <laughs> Kills the birds. Those days are over. Rufus has learned a lot. He is much more careful than before. <laughs> Aren't you worried he might steal something? I trust him completely. <laughs> As he steals the inverter. Hmm. If that's all true... Then he must have turned himself around 180 degrees. That's how it is. As if someone installed a power inverter in him. <laughs> Select, inspect, close, combine. Select. Hmm. If that's all true, then he must have turned himself around 180 degrees. That's how it is. As if someone installed a power inverter in him. Hmm. What the heck if is going on? that's all true... Hmm. If that's what all... What's going on? That's how it is. As... Hmm. If that's... That's how it is. As if someone... Combine, select, close. Rufus seems like a brutal thug to me. Rufus, brutal? <laughs> <laughs> Never. <laughs> oh, Jesus. The bird just went through the bathroom door. Just hope he doesn't turn my whole house upside down. <laughs> He's just getting <laughs> a hammer. How much damage could he possibly do? Well, I still have my doubts. That Rufus looks to me like an arsonist. <laughs> you know what they say. No doubt burns so hot that it can't be extinguished with a wet tablecloth. But my tablecloth is as dry as a bone. He would set the whole place on fire in the blink of an eye. Oh, Grandma. That's just a saying. No one here is going to set anything on fire. All right. 
Can a person really change so much? It's very simple. Once Anchor. burned, twice shy. And Rufus has burned his fingers more than once. He has learned. I would <laughs> bet the house on it. I was hoping for a PlayStation trophy. All right. We need to bathroom door button. And are you sure he knows what he's doing? He looked to me as though he's too stupid to push a button. Appearances are deceiving. Rufus is a tinkerer like me. He is perfectly familiar with every type of machine. All right, so there we go. Flush button. Did he even wash his hands? Of course he did. Rufus is very clean. That's good. I have a very limited supply of water. All right, we need to bathroom or oh my gosh flush handle and if he has to use the toilet then he can do that on the trawler of course grandma it's just that I have hardly any water left he's just getting a hammer I'm sure he'll get the rug all dirty Rufus is a very clean person. He looked to me like he didn't even know how to flush a toilet. Don't be ridiculous. All right, what the heck? There we go. I hope your young friend doesn't get too close to my John Thomas. The poor thing is so small and fragile. Don't worry. The Rufus I know loves animals. He wouldn't harm the pretty little head of your John Thomas. <laughs> All I'm saying is that he seems very clumsy. Yep. Your fears are completely groundless. Rufus has become very careful since his last adventure. All right. What if he suddenly blows a fuse? Believe me, those days are over. Probably shouldn't flush the bird, huh? And are you sure he knows what he's doing? He looked to me as though he's too stupid to push a button. Appearances are deceiving. Rufus is, a he is perfectly... Suddenly blow. I'm sure he'll get the rug. He looked. Don't be ridiculous. Well, I, that roof is look. You know what they no doubt burns so hot that it can't be ex But my take it would set the whole place on fire. Oh, grandma. That's the just a snow one here. On fire, so I can't put it out with that. What else can I use? Okay, I can't talk to him. Oh, I can talk to her. There we go. Okay. What if he suddenly blows a fuse? Believe me, though. May I interrupt for a moment? Of course. Did you find the hammer? Well, not exactly. It's in my tool chest. You're welcome to take it. As long as you promise not to wreak havoc. <laughs> not me. <laughs> not me. Right, we 
trying to figure this out. Fire. Um. Okay, we do have a tablecloth. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. We need to... Select it. There we go. Wrong button. So he's more careful. Yes, he's finally started learning from his mistakes. Appearances are dis roof is he is perfect. And are he looked appearances roof is he is perfect. Will you promise me that he won't try to knock me out with a blunt instrument to steal my things? <laughs> Not <laughs> Rufus. When I met him, he may have been a bit crude and sometimes even disrespectful, but at heart, he's a very good boy. So he's more careful. Yeah. Can we combine the two, maybe? And he really won't do anything foolish. Think first, then act. That is his new motto. And he re- Think first, that is his new- Well, that's not gonna work. Well, that Rufus look- you know, No doubt- But mind he would set- Oh, Grandma. No one here is gonna- Appearance roof is he's I'm sure Ru he look don't be a hmm. if Oh okay we're that's how it is. As if someone installed a power inverter in him. shouldn't give John Thomas too much to drink under any circumstances. <laughs> <laughs> well, if that's all you're worried about. Something like that can kill a little bird. <laughs> Rufus isn't going to drown your bird by accident. And are you here? A pit Rufus is... He would ask before he used my water supply, wouldn't he? No. <laughs> Absolutely. Good. Good. Oh, I'm that's gross. The water goes down. Have until the end of the month. That's disgusting. You Almost have me, but there is one thing that still worries me. He had better not clog my garbage disposal. The blades are so sharp, things are always getting caught in there. Oh, Grandma, <laughs> you worry about the silliest things. If you promise me that he will be careful, then everything is all right. Just as long as nothing happens oh, to man. My John Thomas. Oh no. Promise. Oh boy, there goes John Thomas. Hmm. 
Then I should apologize. I suppose your Rufus really must have improved. <laughs> Well, what do you know? Here it is. Have you found it at last? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. It certainly took you long enough. I hope you didn't leave a mess. Me? No way. But enough chit-chat. Bozo's waiting. Just relax, Rufus. It's not like anything's on fire. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. By the way, what's that funky smell? <laughs> Rufus, have you gone completely off the deep end? You almost set Grandma Hutz's heart on fire. All for a good cause. You committing suicide? No, I'm traveling to Elysium. But Rufus, we've been through all that. I thought you would finally become reasonable. Become reasonable? I am reasonable. And that's exactly why my plan is going to work this time. What plan are you talking about? Well, what does it look like? It looks like a madman's attempt to refute the principle of action and reaction. Close enough. Goodness gracious me. As soon as I step on these bellows, the cork will hit the three targets one by one. In a spectacular chain reaction, this will cause the rockets to be lit and the safety rope to be cut. I have calculated everything. Just watch and learn. Oh, and keep away from the falling blade if you want to hold on to your fingers. Oh my gosh. Look at his fingers. They're right exactly where the blade is going to fall. An apology is about to be due. <laughs> yeah, right. You'll see. I will go to Elysium. Stop it, Rufus. The only thing you will achieve is a spectacular suicide. Don't panic. I've calculated everything. <laughs> Watch your fingers, Doc. As soon as the cork hits the third target, the scale will trigger the guillotine. It would be insane to believe that will work, but it would be even more insane to assume I would be safe here. Well, move, Doc. After the cork ricochets off the other two targets, it will hit exactly here. I've calculated everything precisely. How did you calculate that? Well, the way you calculate things. Y you lie down for a while, and these mathematical formulas come to you in your sleep. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. Bunsen burner. The first target opens the gas tap on the Bunsen burner, which then lights the fuse. Isn't it more probable that the cork will simply knock over the Bunsen burner? My design is based on science not some nebulous probabilities. The calculation of probabilities is an integral component of all sciences. <laughs> For you, maybe. My science is based on hearsay and inner conviction. <laughs> He's got the big blade. <laughs> oh, man, that's how they probably land there. All right, let's check the next one. The cork is in place and precisely oriented. Well, approximately precisely. Approximately precisely. Light the fireworks as soon as the saw blade is in the air. Then they will create enough spin to catapult me directly to Elysium. At the halfway point, eagles will start to fly alongside me if my sketch is correct. If my sketch is correct. Second, the cork will ricochet off this pan. I seriously doubt that. On what do you base this assumption? Well, I drew a target on it, didn't I? Oh, heavens. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, let's see. The first target opens the gas tap on the Bunsen burner. Isn't it more? My design. The calcul. <laughs> My sign. All right, so it goes. The cork is in place and precisely oriented. Well, approximately precisely. Then it goes... The first target... Isn't it more... My is The calc... <laughs> my... And then it goes... Second, the cork... I serious... On what? Well, I drew it... Oh, heavens. 
and then it goes here. After the cork ricochets off the other two targets, it will hit exactly here. I pounded you, Calc. Well, the way you count you, you lied. Okay, and then then it goes here. An apology is Okay, let's do this. Take a good look. Rufus, no! Oh, shoot! Doc. Uh-oh. Doc, that's not a good place for a nap. The Bunsen burner could boil away the water in the vase any minute. And when the scales pan goes up, it will trigger the guillotine. The fuse is already lit. Doc, are you listening? Wake up! Oh, what a bummer. Save Doc or go to Elysium. Save Doc or go to Elysium. Darn it. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? The Bunsen burner is bringing the water to a boil. I have to hurry, otherwise the scale will trigger the guillotine. The Bunsen burner is bringing the water to a boil. I have to hurry. Other that should have worked. I calculated the angle of ricochet exactly. And by calculated, I mean I saw it in my favorite cartoon. <laughs> Huh. The gas from the bottle is being blown toward the flames. Unfortunately, it isn't enough to light the gas. Too bad. That would be a cool party trick. <laughs> and whoop. Woof. Perfect body control, as always. Maybe. I can scratch a little black powder out of there. That shouldn't affect the flight characteristics of the saw blade, should it? <laughs> that tickles. With the right momentum, I could catapult the black powder into the air intake of the bellows. Easy and totally realistic. <laughs> Nope, my breath isn't enough to blow the gas into the flame. Too bad. That would be a cool party trick. Huh, Doc really picked a great spot to fall unconscious. I have to find some way to get him away from there before the water boils away. Huh, Doc really picked a great... I have to... Doc. Doc, are you listening? Wake up! Oh, what a bummer. All right, here we go. If the black powder reaches the flames, it could ignite the gas. And then, mm, there's bound to be an interesting chain reaction whose outcome is very difficult to predict. What am I waiting for? It, oh, it worked! I saved Doc! <laughs> <laughs> Rufus. Rufus. Huh? What? You haven't answered my question. How did you get here? <laughs> I just don't understand. <laughs> That's because there is nothing to understand. The whole story is nothing but one big filthy lie. Almost as filthy as Rufus, but not quite. Cletus? Of course it's Cletus. Why would that surprise you? I am not the one who barged in here uninvited. I have come to save my planet. Well done, moron. Goal and I had reached an agreement. I was trying to keep the existence of the Deponians a secret from the Council of Elders so that Deponia could be exploded, but Goal convinced me to tell the truth. We were just about to save Deponia. The escape pod was taking us to Elysium. Now, it's useless. We're not going to make it to Elysium, and the Council of Elders will never learn about the Deponians. 
Bravo, Rufus. That was a stroke of genius. Don't listen to him, Goal. He's lying through his teeth. I don't know. His version does sound pretty convincing. No, remember, he's lied to you before. The Goal that I know would never have let him get away with it. That's because you only know one part of Goal. The part that is naive and idealistic. The Goal that I know is a fighter who will stand up for what she believes in. But there is a third part as well. And that part sides with me. Isn't that true, Goal? There is no third part. You tell him, Goal. I... I just don't know. I, I can't remember a thing. Of course you can't. Thanks to this flea bag's brilliant intervention, your brain implant has been damaged. It's a habit of his. I I'll fix it. Don't worry. You still don't get it, do you? We have no use for you here. If you really want to help Goal, then jump. We're directly over the ocean. With a little luck, you may even survive the fall. No! No, this isn't right! Oh, come on. Do what is best for Goal. Oh, boy. Eject button. Badge. That looks like an ejector seat. Huh. There's still dust on the label. A shrink ray. <laughs> That's even better than an ejector seat. Yes. I won't let that underhanded traitor take gold to Elysium. Oh, come on. Do what is best for gold. If I'm interpreting the label correctly, then this button activates the shrink ray. <laughs> I'm what's best for goal. No, don't! Ha! Huh, nothing. Why? I wonder if... Uh-oh! No, goal! You idiot! <laughs> he got goal. rid of goal. No, 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 no! You blasted idiot! Cletus, help me! Hang on. Don't panic. I'll come and get you. Somehow. Do you finally realize the damage you're doing? Cletus! Don't panic. I'll get you. Why don't I do everyone a favor and kill you right here? I'm coming, Gaul. Hang in there. Where do you think you're going? I'm on my way. Watch out. The rope's going to break at any moment. What are you doing? Did you really think you could get away like that? Say bye-bye, Rufus. Cletus, no! Cletus! Ah! Ah! Oh dear, what have I done? I still can't believe he really did that. No need to worry, really. He's just like a wombat. He often falls. But he always lands on all, uh, um, all the others. I know. What is that noise? Ah! What the? Goal? Ah, uh, don't be silly. If that were goal, the next we could expect. Ah! Rufus. <laughs> Rufus. <laughs> Ouch. Of course he's back. Everything's ready for detonation, Bailiff. Acknowledged, Chief Blaster. Anything else? Are there no new instructions? We could start the countdown now. I appreciate your eagerness, but this is not a training maneuver. This is about destroying the zone around the Rust Red Sea, before we blow up the entire planet. I see, Bailiff. Stop interrupting me! I know very well what is at stake here. Do you think I wasn't aware of all the implications? It is true. Inspector Cletus has not yet reached Elysium. We can only guess what kept him. 
but as long as there is still hope that he will complete his task, we need not worry. Until then, I don't want to hear about any countdowns. Do you understand? Yes, I do, Bailiff. Cretus is going to succeed. He will convince the Council of Elders that there is no sentient life on Deponia. And, if he should fail, then we shall see to it that the planet is indeed uninhabited. Uh, dismissed! I have too many worries of my own to deal with your moral misgivings, so get out! Out, I say! Y uh, yes, sir. Where the devil is Cletus? <laughs> this guy's all confused. <laughs> There's Cletus. Great beginning so far. Only the most epic tales feature cool depictions of saw blades crushed into cable boat walls. The account is all blunt stunned, effective goals and planned, which surely can't be blamed on Rufus at all. Reckoning up the sun, the best was yet to come. For the end of part one seemed a little too coarse, and to amend we'll send him to attend a second chance for a decent happy ending. The grand fling was dancing in booms. And so forth. Huzzah with booze and so forth. Huzzah with I think I ought to fire my chiropractor. Doc? Huh. We seem to have docked. But where is everybody? Huh. A note from Bozo. That old pirate. <laughs> that old pirate. Good morning, Lazy Bones. Doc took gold to his office. Huh. Finally, someone who uses his brain. She wasn't feeling all that well. Yada, 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 blood from her ears, blah, blah, blah. You can find <laughs> me in the tavern. Tavern? Now that sounds promising. Huh, Jeez. something else. Don't forget to go and see Doc. He needs your help. <sighs> Why can't they ever manage without me? All right, to the harbor. Huzzah with booze. Brown's PlayStation trophy. Oh my god, I'm so stoked to jump back in. What a great game the first one was. As you saw there, the beginning of this game. Incredible already. They just have a, a certain way with everything they do. The writers are absolutely brilliant. Alright, let's save this. How do we save? Save. Alright, cool. What's the bonus? Okay, we got videos, puzzle. What's the puzzle? Oh yeah, that's right. Collectible sort of puzzle stuff. Alright, so... That's gonna do it for my first gameplay with Chaos on Deponia by Deodelic Entertainment here on the PlayStation 4. I appreciate you watching on Nelio Gaming. If you haven't already done so, please click that like button. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Share with your friends. Follow me on Twitter at RedsUp44 and at Nelio Gaming. And please consider subscribing to me here on Nelio Gaming. I'm just so happy to be playing Deponia again. Just everything about the first game was so good. I truly just like enjoyed every minute of it. The writing is fantastic. Everything, even the tutorial of their games, is just so well done. I can't wait to play more. I can't wait to see more. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys soon.